In this video, we're going to insert a table. On page two of the document we were just working on, I'm going to select, put my insertion point in front of preventative options. I'm going to hold down my left mouse key, and I'm going to drag down to the two paragraph marks below my heading. Since I have my show hide button on, I can see these two paragraph markings. From here, I'm going to select one column because I want this section to be one column. You'll notice that since I highlighted it and changed it to one column, it now says that I'm working in section three. So I had the header section from before, the two column section that we created, and now I have my single column selection as well. From here, I want to insert a table. I'm just going to click off the highlighted area, and I want my table to be inserted here at my first paragraph marking. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to insert a table. So anytime you want to insert, you're going to go to the Insert tab and bring that ribbon up. From here, I want a table. I'm going to select the drop-down button here. I can either select the number in rows that I want, or I can select a table and go to a preset, or here for quick tables to select a quick table. What I want is I want to <clears throat> take type 5 and the number of columns, and I'm going to tab over and type 6 and the number of rows. So I'm going to insert a column, my table. I want five columns, I want six rows, and at this point I'm going to click OK. You'll notice now I have inserted a table. I now want to insert information into my table. I simply click here into my first cell, and I'm going to type in disease, tab, and then it will take me to the next cell. Type in vaccine. I'll hit tab again. I will type in prophylaxis drug, then eat and drink safety, and finally avoid insects. And that's how I put in my column headings. Next, I want to include my row headings. Underneath disease for this particular one, I'm going to type in malaria. I'm going to tab twice. I'm going to come to the Home tab and bring up the Home ribbon. I'm going to select the drop down next to bullets and I'm going to select the check mark. And you'll notice that it put a check in this box for me. I can then tab again. And if I want to, I can go again to my bullets and select the check mark. This is how we can go about filling in this particular table. Make sure that as you go that you save your table and save your document as you go. Once you've completed filling in your table, you can also modify your table. To change the way that your table looks, you select the Table Tools tab to bring up those ribbons. You're currently in the Design feature. I can go to Layout, and from Layout I can change the way that my table looks. I can center the information horizontally and vertically with the alignment. I can also change the type of style that my table is. From the Design tab under Table Tools, here where it says Table Styles, I can select the More button. That's the down arrow with the line over it. And I can choose a different type style that I want my table to be designed as. This will help you change the way your table looks, give it a more professional appearance.